So in today's video, we are going to be making this little green guy. Um, I've called him Swifty. He's a little baby space alien slug. Um, I use mine as a pin cushion, but he could be a keychain. He could be a little gift, um, a random act of kindness, um, pretty much anything you can find a use for him. I'm going to be using today a number four medium weight yarn in two colors. One color for the eyeball and one color for the body. And a number 4.25 um, hook. Um, you'll need a safety eye. If you don't have safety eyes, you can just do a little black center in your crochet and then change your colors and do the outside in white. Okay, let's get started. So to begin with, we'll do the eye. And just make a loop or your magic ring. Um, your slip knot, I guess, as well. And we're just going to put six single crochets into the loop. So pull your yarn up and through, make one chain, and then do six single crochets. So one. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're just going to go in your first single crochet from your first round for round two, and you're going to do six increases so 12 single crochets so one and two in the first stitch three and four in the next stitch five and six in the next stitch seven and eight in the next stitch 9 and 10 in the next stitch, and 11 and 12 in the next stitch. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off and leave enough of a tail to sew that around. So I usually just wrap it around my hand once or twice. And that should be more than enough. All right, put that to the side. Oops. Grab your body color. Mine, I'm going to do purple. And then you're going to make another loop or magic ring or your slip knot, however you prefer to start. And then we're going to begin with six single crochets into that loop. So grab your yarn and pull through, chain one, and six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You'll notice I'm not going over my tail. I'm experimenting, wondering if going over your tail is leaving one side of your, your stitch higher than the other side. I think I'm right, but I'm still playing around with it. Okay, so now we'll do six increases, so two stitches in each stitch around for a total of 12. So one and two. And in the next stitch, we'll do three and four. 
Next stitch, five and six. The next stitch, seven and eight. Nine and ten in the next stitch. And eleven and twelve. Now I'm just going to grab a little stitch marker. Uh, I have a little piece of thread here. I'll just make one. Okay. For the next row, we're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. So, one, oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. And then for the next row, we're going to do one single, one single crochet and then one increase for a total of 18. So one single crochet, then an increase for two and three. And four, five and six in the next stitch. Yarn doesn't want to slide out very good. Seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. And then for the next row, we're going to do one single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. Um, now we're going to increase again, and we're going to do two single crochets and one increase in the next stitch. So one single crochet, two single crochets, and then three and four in the next stitch. And we'll just keep going around like that. Five, six and seven, oops, did I count that wrong? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I was doing I was doing the previous row, seven and eight. Nine, 10, 11 and 12, 13, 
14, 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, whoops, 21, 22, and 23 and 24 in the last stitch. Now we are going to do two rows of 24 all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, seven, whoops. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's one row of 24. We do one more row of 24. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now we're going to decrease. So we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease for a total of 18. So one single crochet, two single crochets, and a decrease for three, four, Five and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen is a decrease. Now we're going to do two rows of eighteen single crochets all the way around. <clears throat> so one, Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops. Darn yarn is catching on the side of my table or something. I think I was at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Oops. One more row of 18. would flip over for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, before we go any further, let's put our eye on. So I'm using a 10 millimeter safety eye. And I think, did I remember to tell when I went through this? If you don't have a safety eye, when you did your eye, I'm hoping that you did six black, changed your color, and then did 12 white. Or whichever color, or leave it white, that would work too. So I always make sure I put it on the front so here's my back and just kind of put it in the middle about three to four rows down from the top so you will have a bit of a, a skirt here that will come up if you don't want to cover your eye put it a little bit higher so I'm gonna put mine right about there so the top is touching the third row one two three and then there's my eye So thread your needle and we'll just stitch that on. One nice thing about having the safety eye in there, whoops. Ah, well, things are just going to heck here. Um, I do put this little bit of the tail down and if I thought about it, I would have left it a little longer. And then I use that to tie it together once I'm done sewing it on. I think I got enough. Uh, okay. So you're just going to go down and through in the next stitch. And then you're going to go up and through into this. So you went down in this stitch. You're going to come up into this stitch. And one thing you want to make sure... You want to make sure you're not coming back up in the same stitch you just went down on in the body part. Otherwise your eye, your string will just be here and your eye won't be secure. So into the, down into the next stitch. Um, or do this however I'm not a pro at sewing stuff on, so if you have a better way, do it that way. It probably looks awkward the way I'm doing it here. But 
Just get her on there. This guy doesn't want to come through here. There we go. So while I'm doing this, um, I'm just going to plug myself for a minute. Um, if you enjoy watching my channel and my videos, um, if you want to hit the subscribe button, that, um, that ha in the future will eventually help me out, I believe. And uh, let me know if you enjoyed making anything that I make. I've got, uh, if you go to my channel and look through my playlists, there's a few different things. I've got a, a playlist for a bunch of fast and easies like this. And then I've got a few rumigumis or gummies. Um, I've got a huggy wuggy video. I haven't, don't have too much yet. I've only been doing this about a month so far, so just kind of still learning. Okay. So now I'm going to flip mine inside out and I'm just just going to tie to that little chunk of white tail that I had. Um, we'll probably put the antenna in now too. Just so it's a little easier before we have them stuffed and put together. That's one part I always keep forgetting. Is the antenna. So you're going to want to grab a little chunk of your purple. Um, take it out of the opposite end. I'm going to sort this guy out. So we got him kind of centered. Thread your yarn onto your needle, whatever color your antenna is going to be. See, that's how forgetful I am. I forgot I put them on this side first. So I just take a little strand from where I did my six single crochets at the beginning. Just dig in there a bit. And then I knot it just so it's secure so it won't come out. Now, if you can sort out all these strings we got going here. Take one side of that chunk of yarn you just had, you just tied, and you're going to bring it up and through. I do mine about here and here, in between the first row and the second row, a little bit forward. So I'm going to bring one there and one there, and you can always fix it after. And then put on your other side. And go up and through your first and second row or wherever you want to put your antenna. Like I might have to move that once it's stuck, but for now, I'm going to leave about four to six inches. You only need about two. Okay, and let's start oh, back here on this guy's butt. How did I get that wrapped around like that? <laughs> yeah, never know. Okay. So now we're going to go. I think we can be done with this too. Everything's different enough. We'll remember where we are. You're going to go in the front loop. So this is your back loop and this is your front loop. So we're going to go just into the front loop and not touch that back loop. We're going to use that back loop to close up. Now you're going to do four single crochets in every stitch of that the back loops around. So that's two, three, four. And then your next back loop only. One. Oops. Two, three, and four. And then your next.
next back loop. One, two, three, four. This is kind of tricky to do wrapped around my camera. But I'm trying to do this whole video in one piece and not have to patch it together. So bear with me. So the next stitch, one, two, oops, three, and four. Next stitch, one, two, three, and four. Um, and don't worry too much about how this is curling behind you if it looks like it is or isn't. Once you get all the way around and all your stitches in there, it will start to ripple around. And if for some reason you don't like it and you don't think it's rippling enough, just add an extra um, single crochet. So instead of doing four, try doing five. If you have thinner yarn, maybe you might need to do that. If you have thicker yarn, maybe you only need to do three. My camera's gonna run out of, or my phone's gonna run out of storage space right quickly. Is that three or four? That was three. So we keep doing four single crochets in the back loops of every stitch around. And if I'm going too fast for you, just pause your video or slow it down. And if I'm going too slow, I apologize. I can't do much about that. I even find I go too slow when I rewatch my own videos to reduce a pattern. I race myself and I'm waiting and waiting and like, come on, hurry up. And then other times I'm like, wait, I'm going too fast. Well, I'm almost at the end here. So I have one more back loop here. So this was my first stitches here. So that goes to these group of stitches. So this is my last back group here. Or you can count your, you can count like, um, I should have told you this at the beginning, but like one set, one set of um, four, two sets of four, three sets of four over you. I mean, it's pretty simple. Even if you make a mistake, it's pretty forgiving. Okay, so slip stitch into your first single crochet that you made. Then you're going to do one chain. Oop. And let's stuff this guy a little bit before we do the bottom. Um, if you can, try not to stuff them too much and then add a little bit before you close up because this is a bit tricky with all this bulk here. Now we're going to decrease in the front loop. So you want to find, so this will be my front loop here. The first time I went, you can see the big hole from my first four single crochets. So that's my first front loop right there. So you're going to do one single crochet and one decrease and just fold this down a bit and it will help. So one, 
That's why I also don't worry about how it's rippling because you're going to be playing with this still. And then a decrease. Try and get it on the tight side, but if you don't, it's the bottom. No one's really going to look at it. So three. And sorry, I'm kind of getting on the camera here trying to control this. Okay, I'm going to be slow at this, so just bear with me. I think this is four. I maybe put too much stuffing in. Five. I guess if you're a beginner and you're struggling, this is a good... Um, everybody struggles at some point. Everybody's a beginner at some point. <laughs> Six. Seven. Oh my god, I'm going to give you guys seizures watching this. Um, so eight is a decrease. I'm glad I only have to do this 12 times. It's a lot easier if you can hold it up close to yourself. Right now I got my arms stretched out around my camera, so nine. I want to keep pulling it closer to me, but I can't. I think that's ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay. Yeah, I think that was twelve gonna look like you have more stitches around there but it's just because of this bulkiness here so now you're just gonna do six decreases all the way around so one two yeah. three Four. Oops. Five and six. Now, if you need to add a little more stuffing, I'm going to tie that off and cut our string. Definitely adding a little more stuffing to this. Just make sure when you're stuffing it, you're making this side puffy, but you're not making this side pop up because you want that to be flat. So kind of put it into the sides a bit and up in the top. Should be okay, I think. So then you're going to close him up. Ooh, 53 minutes. I'm surprised my phone hasn't shut off on me. So if my phone shuts off, all we're going to do is uh, fill this up. And we're going to knot these. So we can knot these right now. Wherever you want them to to be for length. And just kind of make them even. You see what I'm doing here? I just kind of pull and move my knot as I tighten a bit. They don't have to be perfect, but fairly close. And then you just cut them close to your knot. There's your antennas. I might cut that one a little bit better. Okay, so for sewing it off, you're just going to weave in and around all your stitches you had in there. Cinch it up. 
a little knot in one of your stitches. I usually do mine twice. For this guy, you probably don't have to worry too much about it, but I'm still gonna. And then you just bring that down and through and out the back. And cut that off. And then um, I just start at the back and just kind of manipulate your little, um, what would you call it, your little frill or fringe into kind of a wave. It'll kind of feel like it wants to go where it wants to go. And you'll kind of get a feel for it every once in a while. You'll be like, that doesn't look right or feel right. But, and there we go. See, oops, see, I got... And there you go. Oops, I might fiddle with those. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, whatever you feel like. And uh, happy crocheting.